sign up for OCC Pound at www.occpound.me. If you if you decide to see it, oh, I want to be in this fraternity, so I'm gonna let them do this to me, or they can do that to me. That's that's you. You decided to let that happen. I mean, you don't have to be in that rap. Yeah, it would be nice, but you don't have to be in that fraternity. Okay, let me drop it down to back growing up in Chicago. I moved to the south side. The guy next door to me didn't like me. I was, what, five, seven, whatever, just moved the neighborhood. He would chase me, you know, chase me from school, chase me from And I told my father about it. Back and forth. He, back then, they want you to fight every day. I took my dad out of He had a lot of brothers, and I didn't know all this stuff. My brothers was out on the street doing whatever. But I had to, it's the same difference. You don't have, you don't face this one person that don't like you or whatever, and it can change it. It don't have to be fraternity. It don't have to be outside in the world. It can be on the job, everywhere. But it's some, you know, different, different spirits or whatever. And we're here to uh, try to get, put a foot on the neck of that and try to get it solved. Because, uh, it's got out of hand. So. association like the NBA or NFL, they should automatically be fined or even kicked out because bullying should not be allowed at anywhere or any time. So if anyone is being bullied, that means that they don't have any self-control of themselves or there's something going on personal or internal. So that's what I feel about bullying. To figure out what he said, uh, since you have to go through it. No, no, keep going, keep going. Since you have to go through it and you have to see and you have to do what you have to do, you just have to focus on your responsibilities and not uh, and know when it crosses the line and if it crosses the line, you think about it. You weigh your choices out and you see, if this really worth it, is there another way I can make this happen? Um, is there another way like what she said, is there another way we can solve this problem without having to go cross that line? Or uh, like Isaiah said, is there a way we can call the colleges that people know that, hey, they're crossing the line. You know, I don't mind going out and picking up bags or helping a team out, but if I have to go out and jump into a pool, nearly drown, and go through all that, you have to weigh your choices out. And that's really up to you. Uh, I feel that 
uh, fraternities and sororities, they have these weird traditions when, uh, when you have to prove yourself. I feel that you can prove yourself in a different way rather than uh, harass somebody or bully them and make them feel down, put them down. And why, why can you drown somebody and say it's a tradition, but then what happens to that person and you could get arrested or is, is getting arrested really, um, really worth it for just to get into a sorority or uh, a frat? Either way, it's still wrong to to put them to put people down just for your personal reasons and for your entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see what's the point of joining a sorority. When, like, I guess. Like if you like gonna have to drown yourself or something, because like what's gonna be the outcome? Like what's so good about drowning yourself or something? So I don't think that's even worth it. So you shouldn't put yourself through. I feel, I feel you on that one. You said you don't see the outcome. So like you said, you join a sorority to get drowned. In the end game, when you get into sorority, what makes it so much different that you have to go through so much pain to be around these people? What makes it so much different from just being a person not in a fraternity or being a regular person on school campus? Well, yeah, I exactly what you exactly what Chuck was saying. I totally agree with you on like you decide to put this extra stress on yourself when it's something that matters. It's not going to matter when you graduate out of college. Besides, when you see somebody else like, oh, you the da 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 da. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, that's not going to get you a job in the It's not going to get you a paycheck. Yeah. So you decided to put yourself in this extra stress when it wasn't necessary because a guy who wasn't in a fraternity and got the one that was in a fraternity, the guy with the fraternity has more stress because he had to do something that he wouldn't like to do, that he did like to do, when you know, for something that's only going to last four years or but but how do we know that like what since we're not in a fraternity we can't really capitalize on what we're saying and saying this don't matter this is that this is that because we're not in a fraternity but my thing is we can make an inference we can say what we think but we don't know for sure what are the benefits and the doubts well we know the doubts not all of them but we know most of the doubts we don't know the benefits of being in a fraternity like you said and man i get you a paycheck you may get a helpful job when you find yourself in a bad situation Oh, you got your homeboy, he was in a frat with me, so he's going to help me out and get me, get me up with a job. But still, like you said, why go through so much pain to be a part of a fraternity? We don't know what the outcome is going to be, so we can't really capitalize on what we're saying. But can I just speak on that for a second? Because I think what is happening next, what is happening next is that it's going to be something that we're going to have to these things that you all are talking about, yes, they have happened back in the day, but because the leaders and uh, people who are interested in what their children are going through when they go to college and actually want to become a part of the sorority or fraternity, they, hazing has been outlawed. It is basically illegal to do hazing. Yes, it happens, but it happens away from and not in front of the sorority and fraternity people who can make a move and say, hey, if we catch you doing something, you're off campus. Generally, underground hazing, I can't say for sure that it doesn't happen, but initiation now to get in a fraternity or a sorority, there is a new process that they go through. Basically, ours is three days, it's a weekend. It used to be, I went through nine weeks. I was hazed back in the day. It's now a weekend. So it has changed so much. There's not an opportunity to do a lot of it, but it has changed and it's not as bad as it used to be. And there are some benefits of being in a sorority or fraternity, and it's basically camaraderie. It's when you go to another city, you can call your members and say, hey, I need a job, you know where any are. And they will help you. I've been helping. So there are benefits, but you may not see them now, but what we need to understand, because we don't want this tradition of fraternities and sororities, I don't, to disappear. Because it can be very good when it works the way it's supposed to. 
so many times that people get killed or get hurt, like the band leader at uh, FAMU, I think, who died because he was hanging. Those are the incidences, and there are not as many as we would think, but there are enough that they get the public's eye and they give fraternities and sororities a, a black eye. But I, I believe overall, the tradition of fraternities and sororities, I think it's a good one, and I think we need to continue to do what we can to improve and change the rules and make sure, even though it's still illegal, we need to reinforce and make sure that people are listening and the people who haven't been, think there's a thing called legacy, we need to make sure that the people who bring in their children explain to them, we don't haze anymore, we just don't do that. It's negative, it's detrimental and we need to concentrate on the positive things that make sororities and fraternities what they are. Uh, I was about to go back to Williams Sports. And I can answer that. Williams Sports? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, if you're a rookie, you're going in NFL, NBA, any game, um, the veterans, they, they should be the ones who's trying to help the rookie because they know how because they were a rookie once going into school and they know how it feels so they should try to like help them and be like more of a mentor not like bully them and make them like pick up their bags and do unnecessary stuff so I think they should be like more of a mentor to them. Alright so I'm about to close out this show. We'd like to thank everybody for it participating in the round table. And we're about to close out. We would like to thank OCC Power, Sigma Event, Channel 30.8, where you can catch STI 740 every week on Channel 30.8. And that's it. We out. Oh, wait. The website is streammyschool.com slash STI 740. STI 740. Become an OCC Power.